Good afternoon, and thank you very much for coming. Uh, this is um, representative of our legal team. We're representing a This is not a singular voter fraud in one state. This pattern repeats itself in a number of states, almost exactly the same pattern, which uh, to any experienced investigator, prosecutor, would suggest that there was a, a plan from a centralized place to execute these various acts of voter fraud specifically focused on big cities and specifically focused on, as you would imagine, big cities controlled by Democrats, and particularly focused on big cities that have a long history of corruption. They elected Donald Trump. They didn't elect Joe Biden. Joe Biden is in the lead because of the fraudulent ballots the illegal ballots that were produced and that were allowed to be used after the election was over. Give us an opportunity to prove it in court, and we will. This is real. It is not made up. It is not, there's nobody here that engages in fantasies. I've tried 100 cases. I prosecuted some of the most dangerous criminals in the world. I know crimes. I can smell them. You don't have to smell this one. I can prove it to you 18 different ways. I can prove to you that he won Pennsylvania by 300,000 votes. I can prove to you that he won Michigan by probably 50,000 votes. We are confident that through this multiple pathway to victory, we will get to the actual outcome that the evidence shows. But this is not about overturning an election on our part. It's about making sure that we protect and preserve free and fair elections for all future American elections. Your question is fundamentally flawed when you're asking where is the evidence. You clearly don't understand the legal process. What we have asked for in the court is to not have the certification of false results. And so to say, hold on a minute, we have evidence that we will present to the court.